Oh, ho, ho. say hello to Ymir, everyone. He is not looking happy. <laughs> Hey guys, so to celebrate the Xbox One version of Conan Exiles coming out and also the just giant Frozen North expansion, I have four Xbox One keys that I'm going to be giving away. Make sure you go follow me at StarSnipe on Instagram. Link will be in the description as well. Go check it out. going to be doing a giveaway there probably today, and I would love to give you guys some free keys, so you should totally go there. So, uh, yeah. See you there, and enjoy this pretty epic video, too. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles, The Frozen North. Today, we are going to be going out of our way and trying to check out a ton of the new things added into this update. Why don't we begin with Ymir. Ymir is the new god that's been added. This is the highest level altar. These are all of the things you can craft right in them, including Ymir's stride, his shanks. He has this whole set of armor, including Winter's Majesty, which I actually don't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I'm just spawning things in for the purposes of showing off everything that's in the game just as a heads up so you guys know what's up. And here is all of this stuff. We got this uh, star, well this is star metal, Never mind. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. I think you guys are gonna love star metal. But what we can do here is uh, with all of Ymir's stuff, you can see he has some pretty freaking awesome things. I don't know, how else do you want me to describe him? He's got this awesome set of armor here, you can see what it does. You can, however, see that we're pretty cold in it because his stuff it provides more heat protection than anything else, ironically enough. However, if we go back into the altar, we can also see that there's more than just that. There's also the statue of Ymir, which I think is just the statue, it doesn't really do much. We got the ice shard bolts, ice shard arrows, ice, which we can make from ice shards the hoarfrost hatchet, the glacier crack, and black ice. Black ice being used in some pretty freaking awesome weapons. But speaking of awesome weapons, here are those uh, black ice things I was talking about. You can see the damage on them. I'll go ahead and equip them here for the purposes of showing you guys. We got this thing. Boom, we can swing it. it actually swings pretty fast. We got the broadsword. Or which one's the broadsword? I think we were just using it. Okay. Because that swung surprisingly faster than I was expecting. Anyways, there's also the, uh, let's go and talk about Star Metal. So Star Metal, you get from Meteors. That is literally the resource. It is called Star Metal. You can get it from Meteors. And you guys will see a Meteor soon enough in one of my videos. Speaking of that, in the series for Conan, uh, it's going to be going on every other day. Uh, I think the schedule is going to be, we got one going up Wednesday, then Friday, then Sunday, then Wednesday, just as a heads up in terms of what to expect in terms of Conan. I've been getting ready for games console, so it's a little bit hectic. But regardless, back it's a star metal. Star metal, I believe, is the most powerful thing. So to demonstrate just how good it is, why don't we try to summon up a couple of uh, creatures to see if maybe they would like to fight us or something like that. So here you can see one of the new enemies called the Frost Giant. I'll just spawn in a couple of the fellas here. There you go. You can see all of them. They're giants. They're massive. They're angry. They're, they come in a couple of different versions. We can attempt to fight them. You can see that they stomp. They try to do some damage. But here hopefully you can see the broadsword, how it goes, how it swings. I have the movement speed up just a little bit just so I could uh, make it a bit more maneuverable. And if we need to get around, we can get around for the purpose of this video. But as you can see, these guys are pretty freaking tanky. This isn't even counting. Oh, look at that. That dude's like swinging around and stuff. There's a couple different versions. We spawned in three of them. And to show you guys probably the biggest and toughest version, why don't we go to the Frost Giant boss? That is right. There is a boss. He looks to be a little bit bigger. He's got a horned helmet or is that a horned helmet? Well, that one's got a horned helmet too. But well, definitely looks like he's the biggest, and there you can see how he looks like compared to everyone. He's gonna be a little bit tougher than the rest, at least he's, he's called the boss, so I'm guessing that that should be the case. Uh, we managed to take out one of them, but it's definitely not gonna be easy trying to take out a whole ton of these guys. However, we do have something that could help us do exactly that trick. The true name of Ymir. Oh right, I forgot. There's a new god in the game. Yes. Yes, there is a new god in the game. Why don't we summon him? and have them wreck some havoc for a little bit here. I think we all could agree that that's gonna be really fun. No, don't hit me. Stay away. Stay away, stupid frost thing. I'm summoning a god. He will harm you greatly, I swear. Oh, ho, ho. say hello to Ymir, everyone. He is not looking happy. <laughs> He's got all those horns on his face, a giant ax. Oh, I cannot wait to swing with this fellow a little bit. Oh, there's the Frost Giants. Hello, Frost Giants. How do you do? Oh, probably not good enough. I'm about to swing the axe. Boom. 
I don't think any of them got caught in that crossfire. But look at that. That's his left click attack. He doesn't really have a right click attack, but you can see that he walks around. The giants are like running for their lives, just like, no, don't hurt me, Ymir. But Ymir does not listen to such pitiful pleas. Ymir does what Ymir wants. I'm trying to step on him right now. Oh, he's dead. One quick step, and he's gone. Look at Ymir just going ham. Ooh, hoo, hoo. In terms of gods, I am just so happy to see that they're really expanding, and it's not just the three gods that were originally in the game. There are new players up in this vicinity, and said new player is kind of freaking dope. Look at that. He's got spikes in his back, horns of a stag, the, the decency to not be naked. I appreciate that. Looks like he has some horns by his, uh, by his... Oh, oh, okay, remaining time, goodbye. Uh, if you guys saw, it looks like he had some horns under his, uh, under his clothing. Let's go and keep on demonstrating all of these things here. You can see you got, like, the star metal pick, star metal sword, shield, all of these things, all of which are going to be craftable. Add to the workbench, I believe it is. You're just going to need the necessary things for it. We can swing that thing, swing this thing. We got the, ooh, we got the shield over in our second hand. It's actually pretty cool. Or not the shield, but we got the spear. But let's just go ahead, glance through these, and show you guys all the stats on all these things. Star Metal, you can see, provides you with... This is what makes it so amazing. Not only is it some really good armor, it also gives you a lot of protection in terms of uh, the ice stuff. It looks a lot like Ymir's armor, too. Like, it, I think it's exactly the same on our skin, actually. If you look at it, that's... Okay, it's exactly the same, but it's a lot better and it's actually going to protect you from the cold, which is probably where you're going to be spending most of your time, I would guess. Here we have the statue of Ymir that I mentioned earlier. We could toss this thing down. I don't think that it does anything. I think it just exists. Like, I can look at more options. You can dismantle, interact, do all that. I can interact with it. And uh, I, I have no clue what happened, but there's Ymir with his flowing dreads. Not as many horns as I expected, but I, I guess you can't have everything that you want. So, you can put down those Ymirs, probably more for decorative purposes. Although he looks a little bit green there at the back of the head, whatever the hell that means. Here we have all the arrows, you can see the damage that they do. Metal hatchet, that type of damage. This stuff I'm wearing right now, so literally the only difference is going to be stats. Uh, Ymir's shanks, which is just that. Star metal spear. I don't think I put on a spear yet, so why don't we uh, put on a dedicated one, a little two-hander. Look at how nice that thing looks, too. That is pretty, if you ask me. I'm trying to find something to stab really quickly, too. Uh, that is proving to be... I saw, like, ten deer, and now I can't find one. Oh, hello there, friends. Wolfie, how do you do? For science, let me stab you with a star metal spear. See how quickly you perish. What is that, three stabs? Four stabs, and we're able to take out a dire wolf. Not too shabby, if you ask me. And this thing... Listen, if the star metal things, they might be powerful. But they also look freaking epic. Oh yeah, and there's also hardened steel. Excuse me, so hardened steel is gonna be one of the lower level- It's- I think you get it right around level 50. How that's gonna be crafted is using steel, brimstone, and black ice in a furnace or something like that. Furnace or one of those two things. And what the hardened steel is, is it's pretty much just better steel. You can see some of them. Now for comparison here, we have the hardened steel spear. As you can see, it does 92 health damage compared to the star metal spear. Which says it does 96 with, uh, way more armor penetration. Sweet mama! I guess that's what really separates the star metal from the other things, is that armor... That armor penetration is freaking nice! Yeah, looking at Black Ice, Black Ice has a little bit of that. But Black Ice does a pretty amount of damage here. Especially compared to the, what, long sword versus the normal sword. It looks like it's not even that shabby. It looks like it's pretty solid. Here we have the star metal shield. Gives you a good amount of protection, but... I think that about covers most of the weapons that were added in. If I forgot anything, please let me know and I'll try to correct that. Or if I forgot anything, ask me in the comments. I'll try to clarify anything up for you guys. But there were a couple more things added in as well, including insulated wood, which is another thing that you can craft if I could put it down somewhere, and black ice reinforced foundations. So these, I'm guessing the insulated wood is going to be the type of wood that you want to build with if you're here. It's going to... I, I don't know if it's going to be stronger. I don't know if there's a way to check. Yeah, there's not really a way to check the health of it, unfortunately. But, this is what it looks like. Here's just a couple of things to demonstrate. And then, we have a little bit of this. And what that looks like. So that is going to be one of the coolest things. That's black ice reinforced foundations. This is going to be some of the strongest types of materials you can really craft, which is pretty cool. And now that the building is out the way, why don't we talk about... 
some of the new collecting methods because there are a couple of new ways to collect a couple of new things. Hey, you can you can put down beehives. That's right, you can put down beehives. And along with that, there are also shellfish traps and uh, uh, fish traps that we can put into the water. And what's gonna happen with this is if we can find a good place to put it, boom, we put that down there and then over here we can put this thing down. What these will do is automatically fill up slowly but surely over time. I don't think we have to do anything. I think the beehive is the same way as well, is that it automatically fills up with, these are gonna fill up with fish, and I'm guessing the beehive is gonna fill up with honey. And on top of that, another thing that was added was the fluid press. This thing is a natural pressing machine, pretty much what you can do with it, if I could find a suitable place to put it down. So what the fluid press can do is that it will actually press down fish into their oils, and it will press down uh, berries into a mug of juice so, and this is going to be i think the mug of juice or some part of the press is going to be useful in in turn brewing because brewing was another thing that was added and another skill that you can actually learn but i think that about covers a good amount of things i'm not 100 sure how the brewing mechanic works but i do know that you can actually learn it if you head on over here to your recipes and you go to it should just be called brewing so i'll just type in brew and there you go you can actually learn it here it's at level 37 it does require that you have the keg and the fluid press before it but after that, you can create ales, highland wines, desert wines, cactus wines, and all this probably at the fermentation barrel. So in conjunction with the berry press, which is needed, as you can see, and lets you create desert berry pulp or highland berry pulp, it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. If I forgot any parts of the game, please ask me in the comments section. I'll try to clarify anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry if I did forget any like things. So for real, ask me in the comments. If there's something you want clarification on or if there's something i forgot to mention and i'll try to clarify it to you guys down there but other than that that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me i hope you guys are just as excited to be checking out this updates as i am i cannot wait hopefully i can even summon ymir one day oh summoning ymir in the series that would be freaking dope but other than that it's gonna go ahead and wrap up me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya